No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today I have probably the most anticipated interview of my entire life. The one, the only, Murder B finally on the couch. Right. How you doing? You done have some miscellaneous ass mm. on this couch. <laughs> That's what I hear. Mostly from you. You don't like, like every other rapper we ever interviewed, right? No. <laughs> no. No. It's been a weird week, huh? The most hated. The most hated. Yeah. Okay. Where, where should we start? Should we go into like the early days of Murder <laughs> B or should we jump right into the, f the, the, whatever, the modern stuff? Whatever. Okay. All right. All right. In that case. What you, what you really want to talk to me I mean, about? you went super viral the other day for getting in a fight in Miami. I'm like, I didn't even know that she ever left the Bronx. Here we are. We're in Miami. <laughs> Tell me wh like what happened. For me, one thing led to another. And it was just like, I, I don't know what y'all expect. I'm not Muhammad Ali, bro. Uh -huh. I'm a pretty girl, bro. Like, so it's like. Did she sneak you? Because I felt like you were kind of like bent over. You weren't really like a, um, uh, anticipating it. I mean, I just, where I fucked up at was thinking everybody's me. Because if it was her, I would have left her alone. I would have felt like, oh, yeah, I'm ODing a little bit. Mm -hmm. But for me, like I said, like. I, like I was having a talk with um my manager and for me you can't win every fight in a random parking lot. Uh yeah, how ghetto, right? You guys chose to meet up there. Um no, uh it just kind of happened. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. It just happened. Where randomly. was it? In Miami. Yeah, but like where were you? Like in the parking lot of the McDonald's or something? No, no, <laughs> it was right by the strip. Okay. Yeah, just not. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first rapper for that to happen to. Okay, so for the people out there, normally I'm an extremely well researched interviewer. I didn't know that this was happening until like an hour ago. Yeah. So I didn't write down who the fight was between, but I know for a fact that I saw it already. So like, what was the beef that led up to this happening? Um, just two different blocks not fucking with each other. Okay. Feel me? Rapping what I'm living. And then you just happened to run into each other in Miami and it went down. Oh, yeah, I guess you could say that, yeah. Your lip looks pretty good because it was split open before, right? It wasn't split open. It was just busted a little bit. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't your, really too much. How'd your face heal up so quickly? I can still see the black eye a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, for me, I'm not Muhammad Ali, but I'm not a**, though. I can't say I'm a**. Right. I mean, I haven't really seen like you put forth a full fight's worth of sparring yeah i don't i don't really fight no not my thing you left that in the past no it's just like i never really was a fighter like i'm too pretty for that okay Let, let's go back are you actually from massachusetts oh my god that's what i just keep hearing it i am from new hampshire i'm from right outside massachusetts so this to plymouth, me right? huh plymouth right no Some new, funny shit like that? i'm from nashua new hampshire oh, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. five minutes from the border I, I know where that's at oh really yeah so you did grow up out there. My grandmother lives in New Hampshire. Really? Yeah. So you'd be taking the trip. Yeah. Okay. And you feel me? I, there was a point in time where both my parents were locked up. So and where like, where are you from? Framingham? No. Amherst? No, Lawrence. I'm not Lawrence. from there though. I'm not from there though. For me, I just like have family out there. For me, I used to just be out there a lot. So you're not you didn't actually grow up there? You never went to school there? Nah, I never went to school over there. I don't know why. I went to school in New Hampshire. I can say that. But I never and went to school And you were living mass. in New Hampshire at the time? Nah. It's just like, feel me, anytime something happened, feel me. Oh, your parents would send you away? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that, yeah. If you fuck up, you're going to New Hampshire. Yeah. My parents would say that to me. If you fuck up, you're going to the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> no, they would not. No, nah, but like, feel me, it's just like, I don't know. I moved around a lot. I don't know why people make it seem like they didn't, like, go to fucking PA or something. Like, let's be for real. Like, a lot of these little female drill rappers, like, not from their original blocks that they claim to be from. Right. I mean, a lot of drill rappers like to, like, fetishize the idea that they've never gone anywhere. Yeah, like, I've like, been standing bro, come on this on, bro. stoop like, for you, 10 years. Yeah, like, bro, come on, bro. We know you traveled before, bro. Relax. It's never that serious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so that that was your childhood? You So you were living in the Bronx and then kind of having yeah, to go back Yeah, I was and back and forth a lot. A lot. Like, I... I was traveling a lot. I've been to Puerto Rico. I've been to a lot of places. I used to live in Miami. Uh -huh. I used to live in Sanford, Florida. I used to live everywhere. Bro. What are your parents like? My parents? Yeah. They hate the Bronx. They like quiet. I like rowdiness. Really? I mean, I like the city. I don't like being in quiet places and shit. Wow. 
That's not my thing. It's not for you. Nah. So they were living in the Bronx because they had to. Oh yeah, I guess you could say that. And um, you fell in love with the street life, <laughs> <laughs> the drill life. You, th- <laughs> I mean, uh, that's all I was around though. Like, I mean, my dad too. Like, even him being from Mass, Mass is Wona. I can genuinely say that them niggas is Wona. There's definitely some wild stuff going on out there. Yeah. They are First bad. time I ever seen somebody get their head caved in with a hammer was in Massachusetts. Oh my god. <laughs> and then his wife tried to stop it and she also that, got her head caved yeah, in. Yeah, see, bro, they be wilding out there, them little white people and shit. Boston niggas. Yeah. I've never actually been to Boston. Boston is a city in Massachusetts. I've never been to Boston. Yeah. It's actually like comparatively very, very small. Boston I, proper. There's like all these other areas. I would have liked to live in Boston. I heard it's like a mini New York. Yeah. It's just a lot quieter and more chill. <laughs> it doesn't give you that vibe of like, oh, in New York, it's like, oh, there's everything possible stuffed into this space. Yeah. Um, you go to Dunkin' Donuts, there's like two parking spots. <laughs> yeah, the Massachusetts niggas love Dunkin' Donuts. Personally, I'm a Starbucks kind of girl. Mm. Yeah. Now that I've been out here long enough, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking with the Starbucks or with the Dunkin' Donuts growing up. It's I nasty. mean, the, the, the raps are fire, though. I'm not up to date on like their non coffee beverages. I just know that they You drink coffee, that's disgusting. You just talking about what you like Starbucks. I like the refreshers. Okay. Um, that's cool. But I drink real <laughs> coffee. Dark black <laughs> juice that we call coffee. Dark black coffee. Well, you know, put some sugar in there, a little bit of creamer. Turns a little light skinned. Check the food. What do you order? I ordered Wendy's. Nice. What'd you okay. get from there? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Like 50 chicken nuggets. Really? Yeah. 50? Well, yeah. I have six. My mouth is officially like, no, eat something else. <laughs> so, uh. I like fast food. I can't lie. Yeah. That's yeah. my thing. Yeah. You'll get over it. Um, yeah. Or maybe you won't. I don't know. I know a lot of older people who still are pretty much fast food focused. Um, okay. So you, you leave. Or, or so. At what point do you start like really being outside? Because I, I can't remember. Um, I should have took notes, but I'm like. I can genuinely say like I was always a party girl. So like a lot of people would see me in car meets and stuff like that. I mean, I've been, I've been partying since I was 13. Define partying. Like just going out, drinking with my friends, shit like that. I, all right. I just recently started drinking, but like, n- like. Just going out, like, I don't know, going to car meets and stuff like that, listening to, like, little ghetto music and shit. Damn, you were a car girl. Yeah. Before you were a drill girl. Yeah. I mean, I used to come home at, like, 10 a.m. every day. What kind of car meets are we talking, though? You're doing the takeovers where they be doing, spinning out in the middle of the shit, hitting everybody. Spanish music, dembow music. It was fun. Really? Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Okay. If I wasn't famous, I would do it again. And then did you get attracted to like the the music side of shit or the street side of shit first like what was the entry point to this whole scene um, you're in now um i was always around the street stuff so that wasn't like new to me but the drill rap was just like oh shit stuff for me mm-hmm. i like that I, I like drill rap man i i can say it was taken over the Bronx yeah, at the it was. time and all in New York. It, it's bro, it's the easy way, easiest way to get lit. Easiest way to get lit. So you're admitting that it's easy to make drill music? Yeah. <laughs> if you can't make drill, bro, that's just a little calm. All you got to do is just like really like not really think about it. But like you just have to just make it make sense. You know what I mean? Right. I was trying to explain to my girl that it's kind of easy Lena? to make drill music. She? That is, Oh, you like her? Bro, I grew up watching you guys. Really? Yeah. That's kind of scary. Kinda, How old are you right now? I'm 18. 18 right now oh no i grew up watching you guys like really though like that means that when we were doing like the sex tape at one million yeah y'all niggas was going crazy i can't lie jesus yeah lena it's like exactly what you don't want when you're making like edgy risque <laughs> content it's like oh i was Yo, watching that when i was 12 i never thought i would be here though this is this shit is crazy i'm not gonna lie. yeah Damn, that is kind of crazy. And so that's why you're so geeked when I called you Dusty in the DMs? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? You're like, I love this guy. I've been looking up to him my whole <laughs> life. And now he's calling me Dusty. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Fucking me Dusty. 
Uh, I don't know. It's just like a general insult that you could use with a girl when you're kind of messing with her, you know? I you're all you. tough and shit. It's like, I can't be like I nice mean, to you. I feel like I'm sweet. I, I got to neg I'm you. I'm a sweetheart, bro. You I'm know about negging? Negging? Negging. That's a bad word. No. It's like N-E-G-G-I-N-G. No, I'm not saying like it's like, I'm just saying that's bad lingo. Is it? Yeah. What, just like, you don't ever hear somebody in the Bronx <laughs> saying like, yeah, I'm negging you. It's all right. No, all right. It's it's the like fuck? people say it in the pickup community and stuff. It's like if you if you want a girl to like you, you say mean things to her basically. Oh, okay, make, okay, okay. I'm okay. not saying that I like uh, apply no, that duh, normally, again. but with you, I felt like it was appropriate. Yeah, it was. I, I found it funny. I thought it was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> so when you're, you're getting into the Bronx world or like the drill world or whatever like when i mean it feels like this has kind of all come together in very short period of time with you because you were dancing in blockworks video like a year and a half ago right <laughs> and now you doa speaking of all right look that whole time like i knew the doa niggas but you gotta understand like females like they, they mixy i can't lie like I, I just wanted to like just have new experience be cool with everybody at some point you feel me you but didn't know everybody like, at that time so you weren't really sure who you were hanging out with or who you were no i knew cool everybody with? i knew everybody that's one thing about me i knew everybody whether it was through facebook or instagram or something um so feel me like the whole block work situation i knew his manager from when i was 13 because uh-huh. i used to date one of his friends which is a girl and for me, I, like I like girls, so ah. like, everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. Okay. I said it in every interview. You like guys and girls. Yeah. Okay. So basically, for me, I was dating one of his friends, and I got brought around him. And then, like, when I wanted to fully start drill rapping, he was like my only really real connection, if that makes sense. And and I know the politics behind him, but from what I heard, for me, I'm also really cool with Siha's father. So, from what I heard was like, oh, yeah, he's trying to make amends with niggas and this and that and the third. So, I, I took him in. For me? I'm a block work truther. He sat down on this couch and he seemed like a really nice guy. And so, I believe whatever he's saying. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess. So, for me? I felt like it, it just really kind of seemed like the people who were hating on him maybe didn't have the best information. No, I mean, I don't know, bro. And I, don't I, know I, I can't like swear. I can't that, like actually say that, but that's kind of how like, I felt. I feel like he just does too much sometimes for me. Like, mm. I don't be trying to do too much. Like, I. I did bad with the video. I don't got. I did bad. Why? Because you weren't. You weren't like even in it that much. No, right? I wasn't, bro. My friend was in there shaking ass, bro. I wouldn't ever do that. You wouldn't shake ass. No, I don't shake ass in nobody's video. I don't give a fuck who you are. Okay. I was in TG Crippy's video. Um, in my zip, I'm not shaking ass. I have my flag out like that. I was not shaking. I don't do that. Right. I don't do that. That's not my. For me. It's kind of funny for me as like an adult to just see somebody who's 18 like being. Like judged incredibly harshly for stuff that they did like a year before. <laughs> like, That's what I'm Like, bro, like, let me live, bro. Like, damn. Like, right. You live and you learn, bro. But like I was saying, though, for me, so I came to the video shoot on behalf of his manager. For me, I knew him. We was chopping it up. Ah, uh-uh. for me, I did a little cameo. Sup? Ah, uh-uh. there's none the third. And then for me, he ended up dropping it after he started dissing again. Mm. So it just made me look bad. Right, so then the whole sav was just on some shit like, "Bitch, you dead? He ah uh, ah uh, ah," uh. and then I like I was like, "Bro, y'all gotta understand that was from mad long ago." And then they like fake like kind of like, "Okay, whatever." You're a female at the end of the day, like for me, like I said, females are mixy, bro. People get killed over females all the time. Bro, like I said, females are mixy, bro. Like I know a couple of bitches that are rapping right now that I used to chill with niggas that I know on the blog. Right me so like like i was saying like i feel like it's just like because there's so many eyes watching me right now so it's just like they be on my dick a little bit too much right so you don't actually have a dick though right that's like a figure of speech yeah it's figure of speech okay <laughs> just wanted to check <laughs> i just yeah when girls start what saying what you trying to say i don't know when girls start talking about having a dick i get kind of like a uh. what you trying to say bro i'm just trying, trying to figure to out I where your like wendy's is no no, 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 it's that not because um, there was a funny, fi- uh, funny flick of me <laughs> holding a funny gun. <laughs> a funny gun. <laughs> yeah, bro, a funny gun. Like, like um, it was a prop gun. Feel me? The 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 what's it called? The 
treatment for the video was right. a gun, uh, was a armed robbery, like robbing a bank or whatever. Feel me? So like we had prop guns and shit, and it just looked funny in my hand, and like it was just an off guard flick, and like everybody thinks I look like like that, mm. and I was like sniffling mid picture too. I was tight. I was tight. I fake look like Michael Jackson. I can't lie. That shit was funny. It's not easy being a girl. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. You, you Especially when you have hot. a lot of eyes on you too. That shit. That shit right there, bro. I feel like I can't do shit. So when did that start though? Like you having so many eyes on you. At what point? That's always been a thing though. Like as much as niggas like say like, oh yeah, we don't know you. We don't know you. Feel me? That's cap. That's dead cap. A lot of these op niggas been in my inbox still are to this day. Uh-huh. So it's like, mm, all right, for me. You think it's cap? I mean, they know you. Yeah, they know me, but not for like bad reasons. I was just cool with everybody at some point and then ended up just like picking a side because of like, for me, if I'm going to, like personally, I won't be friends with you if you're cool with somebody who's talking on people who I fuck with dads or like my dads. You feel me? That's just, it's just, it's just morals, you know? I end up in that position as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you... You're different, though. You're entertainer. Right. You're, in, like, Kalo, he's different. He's an, a videographer, bro. That's the way he does business. But there's like, been rappers I was close enough to that then they die. Somebody makes a video dissing them. And then they want to do an interview with me. And it's like, listen, I would like to be able to tell every single story that's going on in hip-hop or the streets or whatever. But, like... At a certain point, you're going to have me looking crazy if I'm, that's, that's I'm linking saying. up like, with you. And, linking and, up with you, yeah. being all buddy-buddy with you. Like, nah, at, at a certain point, that's when I realized. That's when I stopped being oppy for me at a certain point. That's when I realized, like, damn, I'm fake, like, in these people's face, like, and it's just like, I'm cool with these niggas. And it's just like, it just doesn't mix right, you know? Right. But do you feel like that is kind of bad? For society as a whole, if everybody has to just be deciding that they hate half of the fucking other I mean, part of yeah, the city. in a way, but like, I don't know. The Bronx is such a toxic environment. You feel I that? feel like, for me, I feel like everybody just be on some bullshit. That's good to hear you confirm that because all of us are looking at the Bronx like, damn, this shit yeah, seems so like, toxic. Yeah, like from my outsider looking in, bro, we look crazy, bro, killing mm. each other and shit. Yeah. That eyes. But for me, it. It is what it is. So have you been losing friends to like gun violence and shit since you were really young or did that just start happening recently? Honestly, that really just started happening to me. Like I lost my first friend and um, I don't talk about him at all. Like not even, I don't have him anywhere. I have mad flicks with him and I just don't post him at all. Mm. And for me, I lost him in, on Halloween. And... Um, uh. Yeah, he, that was like my first ever friend that died. Yeah. And uh, did that change you or? Um, That just made me look at everything different. Like, niggas is really not playing, bro. Mm. That was crazy. He was the sweetest kid ever. Sweetest kid ever. And like, you wouldn't have like, thought that him out of all people. Like, I woke up one day and my boyfriend at the time called me. He was like, yo, like, this person just died. Like. And I was like, yo, that's crazy because we was just with this nigga. Like, that's so crazy to me, bro. So it was just like, yeah. The worst is when they die and they still have an Instagram story. Yeah, bro. Isn't that creepy? That's crazy as fuck. That's always oh the God. worst. You can see exactly what they were doing. He, he didn't have an Instagram page, though, when oh, okay. he died. So, feel me? It's still down to this day. You can't find, like, you can only find pictures of him that other people post. Right. So... I don't really talk about him though, cause I don't want like, like I fucked up like putting Danny in my songs solely because people started dissing him after. Right. Now that was that my son too. A lot of people think I like don't know him, but that was that my son. Like my, feel me? We used to go to parties together. Like we used to be in the same whip, all that. Like, but it is what it is. So would you say when you hear somebody diss one of your dead friends, does that fill you with like rage, or is it just annoyance? So how does it feel? It's annoying. Um, I mainly put him in the song before because, um, when his candle lighting happened, they put like YGK in the bot and spray paint. So that made, that right there made everybody diss him in the first place. So that's why when I came out with my song, I said like, y'all not smoking him. Like, I was like, for me, like, 
my response to that. But um, yeah, they they think that I'm the one who started people saying that he's smoking on him or whatever. But that's not uh, really the case. Okay. Um, is that kicking the candle shit like super consistent out Ooh, there? Ooh, um, not super consistent. Okay. I've only seen it happen a couple times. No, I know somebody on my side who did that before. Mm. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, bro, kicking candles is a force. That's a force right there. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I mean, bro, I've heard so many stories in Chicago and shit of people uh, shooting people at like funerals and shit, shooting up the whole funeral. Nah, I'm not gonna That's fake crazy. That's the wildest That's shit. Crazy. I heard. That's crazy. I've been to funerals out here where they had crazy security with massive fucking machine guns and shit, having but to shut just, down the streets and everything. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like. I feel like the internet really made yeah. everything worse. Yeah. The internet. Well, mainly kids like you're using the internet to yeah, yeah. instigate shit. Yeah. I guess you could say. <laughs> I mean, I'm a really big instigator. Not to put it all on you or anything, but like, okay, that vlog that we just put out. Yeah. With you and a bunch of other people. Me, Tata, J Doggy. Yeah. It's just like, as oh, soon as the camera hits we you, was, yeah, I you're was, just dissing everybody. Yeah. Fuck this person. Fuck, fuck them. you. Fuck you. Fuck like you. as long as this camera's here, I'm gonna just let the world know exactly who I don't like. Yeah, that's just, that's just how drill rap is. If you can't, I don't know how people can drill rap without like the drill rap is like it get gritty. Like mm. that's what you gotta show, bro. It's not. It's not. I don't. You could drill rap without dissing. I Ice Spice doing her thing. Right. And me, but like you ain't hating on her. Huh? You ain't hating on Ice Spice? Hell no. I love Ice Spice. Ice Spice for the bitches. How well you know her? I don't know her at all. You never met her? Okay. No, no, no. We have mutual friends. Okay. Feel me? Um, She's out here doing songs with Pink Panthers and not you. I that's know. fucked up. What do you mean that's fucked up? Give Murder B a chance. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to I'm gonna have to switch it up before I, like, you know? How'd you end up being Murder B? Um, I got the name from Chilling on TJ's Block. Uh... And they just, my name was Precious Murder at some point. Uh -huh. And then they just kind of just stopped calling me Precious. It was weird. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's, it just migrated to just murder. You ever I, feel like that's going to hold you back in some way? Um, Probably because nobody wants to book a bitch named Murder B. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> I remember Uncle Murder had to change his name to Uncle M. That ass? Yeah, I might the, have to change my name to MB. But then I think he realized he was never going corporate, so he just changed it back. Damn, I don't want to have to change my name, but I, if I if I do, it'll be my name, Precious. Right, that's your your government that's name. That's my government Precious. Name. Precious. That's an amazing name. You think so? Yeah, your parents must have really loved you. They do. I'm not gonna lie. What are they up to right now? What do they think of all your behavior? Um, my <laughs> mom. She doesn't really know what's going on, but she be t she be on the same type of timing as me. Mm. Like I get it from her. I'm not gonna lie. So, feel me. Yeah, she 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 fuck with it though. She she actually just sent me a text message. She was like, "Oh, I'm so proud of you. I love you." That's not the third. The food's still not here. Oh. <laughs> when did you sign, or what's going on with that? I signed in December. December. Yeah. And did you have a bunch of people hollering at you, or what it look like? What do you mean? Like different labels. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That right there. Labels was hounding me. I'm not gonna lie. Capital, Atlantic, Atlantic was my first real meeting. They're thinking you could be the next Ice Spice. Nah, they're not looking at me as Ice Spice. They're looking at me as yeah, like good. Cardi B. Right. Like that's the the narrative that they put on me every time. Okay. So, I mean, I I respect it though, cause for me, I don't not to say like I act like her, but. For me, it's kind of just like so there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, I mean, you're way younger and stuff, but you got like the the sort of like intense personality. Yeah, and then the music's yeah, pretty that, good. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, can we put this I together? I put my personality and make it work? in my music. Yeah, like if I if I wouldn't say it to your face, I wouldn't say it. like I wouldn't put it in my music. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Anything Maybe. else you need to add? <laughs> um. Okay. Fuck. I should have this written down. <laughs> There's a dude who was in the video the other day that just got picked up for the murder in Times Square. Nas? Yes. EBK? I just didn't want to say it wrong. Nas EBK. Yeah. Uh, that's got to feel crazy that you were hanging out with him like the other day and then he just gets picked up for this fucking murder in the most the most heavily secured place on fucking earth. Yeah, free my heart, man. That's not the only rapper I heard of some like fucking didn't Eli Frost shoot somebody in Times Square too? Like this is not a place to be. Yeah, doing that's that. not uh, me personally. For me, I, I don't know. 
don't know. I don't really have anything to say about it, to be honest. But that's that's my friend though. I had before anything. Right. So for me, I just hope he keeps his head up and stuff. I mean his his Instagram is loudly proclaiming that he's innocent. I wasn't around during that time. Right. Yeah. You probably shouldn't tell us even if you were. What you mean? Like if you were there for the shooting, alleged shooting? No, nah, I wasn't there. Yeah, but I mean if you were, you should probably not tell us. <laughs> Nah, yeah. Um, That's why I signed the free him. Yeah, right. So, I mean, I don't, like, I feel kind of lame just, like, running through a list of every person that I know that you have issues with. Are there any that, like, really stand out to you that we would be fucked up if we didn't discuss? Um, Who is Satan to you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have anybody that I really hate on, bro. I'd be too focused on myself. Oh, so this is all just like lyrical shit. You don't. Yeah, really, like you're I not don't, really mad at anybody. No, it, it'd be people like actually genuinely mad at me. Like, and I think it's kind of funny. Right, but you probably have to move so different now, right? Um. Yeah, I can't do the things that I used to, but I like. I you, you like. Can't I walk like, to the bodega. I mean, if I do, I go with somebody next to me. Right. A nigga specifically. Because it's like, if a nigga come up to me, like, what the fuck am I going to do? Right. Yeah. For being, yeah. being I mean, a woman, it's not easy. It's not. But I'm also really tall. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know if they think because I'm fucking huge that fucking, like I said, like I'm Muhammad Ali or some shit. But yo, like. How tall are you? I'm 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, Damn. Yeah, I'm really tall. They tried to get you to play basketball? <laughs> They tried to get me to play basketball. I'm six three. <laughs> they didn't work. Me. They tried to let, yeah, but I I'm not athletic. I don't. I can't run. You can't. Why not? It's just I don't have it in me. It just doesn't work. Damn. Word. Um. So I don't know. Like, what what are you? What's the plan? I admit this is kind of like what's the plan? Yeah. Um. Eventually, I'm going to stop Joe rapping. Not mm. because I don't want to. I mean, like. Not cause, not cause I want to. For me, like nobody humbled me into stop making drill music. It, let's be clear about that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a singer. Do that as well. Yeah. Is I that play stuff out there? I just haven't heard it. No, it's not. You haven't released any singing stuff. No, I have a snippet at the end of one of my songs, and then it just never released. But um, yeah, I'm a singer. I play seventeen instruments. Seventeen. Seventeen. What are like the top ones? Piano, clarinet, saxophone. So your parents just had you in class nah, they for didn't, that? They didn't, they didn't have me. They didn't actually know. They didn't know. But they knew that I was singing and stuff, obviously, because I've been singing since I was a little, girl, a little girl. But to learn that many instruments, you must have been really Bored. dedicated. You're Bored. just in the crib with mad different instruments, being like, I'm going to figure this shit out? Yeah, pretty much. I wish that I had that kind of passion as a kid. Music was always my thing. I grew up listening to The Weeknd and stuff like that. The Weeknd is my favorite artist. Really? Yeah. Interesting. You like the drive back from New York to Mass, my mom used to play um, The Weeknd all the time. Like every Okay, I, but you're a young kid listening to The Weeknd. Is yeah. this making you want to try Coke? Honestly, if I'm being He makes husband, it sound really good. Good, like, yeah. Like, I want to sniff Coke off a of white bitch ass one day. Yes, he makes one it day, sound like it day. would be the best time on earth. Trust me, I've done enough Coke for both of us. It's not a good thing. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Don't worry, they know. I've you talked be, about it a million times. You'd be so. openly like, I've never Not done anymore. anything other oh, than well, weed. You're 18. You I got mean, plenty of time. Okay. Like, I know bitches that be 15 taking Percocets and shit. Like, bitch, calm down. Like, I believe bitch. you, but also, like, I didn't try Coke until I was probably, like, 26 or something. Like, which is kind of, if you're going to do it, it is kind of weird to start doing it, like, later in life. But I know people who, who've done Coke. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Like crazy. Half the Bronx. <laughs> Half the Bronx. <laughs> I don't think the Bronx. I feel like Bronx niggas don't do coke. That's just not a thing. That no, I have right. never heard of any of my friends doing fucking coke. I've heard like perks, maybe e pills at most, mm -hmm. but that's it. When I lived on the East Coast, when I lived in New York, I felt like nobody that I knew was doing like nobody from New York was doing coke. But then all the hipster ass people that I knew who moved to New York, they were all doing doing it. coke. Yeah, the white people. I yeah. went to um. Uh, like an underground party one day, uh -huh. and they was definitely doing mad coke there. Yeah, no cop. One time, that was the first and the last time I went to an underground party. <laughs> yeah, stay away from that. Nah, I think it's pretty cool though. I, the party? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would go again. Part. Stay away from the. Nah, coke the coke party. Yeah. 
But That's... I definitely want to try it one time in my life. Yeah, I guess I understand Just to that. say I can try it. Like, I, I've tried it before. Just get a drug testing kit so that you know it's not a Fent pack. Or get it from a doctor. A doctor? Actually, no. Just don't do it. Okay. I'm going to say you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So... Now that you're signed and everything, what's the game plan with the label? Like, are they trying to... Um, they just trying to transition me into being the star that I'm destined to be. I'm more than a drill rapper. Uh-huh. Um, feel me? Like I said, I can sing, bro. Like, I make hits for the radio. Like, niggas don't even know that. Yeah. So it's like... Feel me? Yeah. yeah. Drill rap is just the thing that I do for right now to, like, grow my fan base and keep being relevant right feel me yeah i mean i was on doing this the other day and i i said that cardi b didn't used to be a drill rapper and a bunch of people pointed out like no she, no, was, she was and you missed out you you are not you're not remembering tuned, this enough you're not in tune i mean once they said it they were like oh she was, my girl was with, doing her thing she was rapping with king yellow and billionaire black and all them in the chicago days and then i'm sure she did like you know some other stuff. In that New word. York and I'm glad she made it made it the way that she did. She deserves it. I feel like, in my opinion. So you got a lot of respect for her. Yeah. You I pick do. her over Nikki. No. Dun dun. I I no. I don't pick. I'm not picking sides. I'm not picking sides with that. I'm you not. Refuse. I I love both of them. They're both. I mean. It's pretty wild. I'm a Barb, but Nick, I'm also like okay. a Cardi B. Like Nikki like just fully embracing Ice Spice the other day. I seen that. I'm I'm actually really happy for Ice. I was happy for her too. I'm but really I, happy for her. But I was surprised because I think like a few days before that, I had been telling my girl that it's kind of unique that Ice Spice is like out here huge and has not aligned herself with either of them because that seems like it happens a lot. I feel like, I don't know, like two powerful women from the Bronx. I feel like, not from the Bronx, from New York, New York. period. Like that shouldn't have happened. But you remember Nikki remixed... The, or no, Cardi remixed the Ice Spice song and then was just like, ha, I'm not putting this out. She did? Yeah, she like put a version of it on TikTok. And I didn't then did see that. not release it. I don't keep it. up with like politics like that. Yeah, right. You know, I don't. so many weird, random fucking politics out there that well, I don't yeah, know about. But like, I'm talking about like actual famous people. It's like kind of a different thing. Yeah, I mean, but I kind of like pay attention to what like be going around about me specifically. Like, mm -hmm. I done seen a couple of sex tapes that weren't mine. Who? People in your. People that look like me. Oh, really? Murder B clones. Damn. And they'd be titling it Murder B on Pornhub and stuff? That's pretty smart. I don't like shit like that. Because <laughs> I'm not a hoe. Right. Like, I don't just be like, fucking everybody and shit. But, I mean, fuck it. It is what it is. Like, it comes with being lit, I guess. Right. Mm -hmm. Just having that level of attention on you. Yeah, for sure. Word. So. I hate that for me. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. What's life like at this point for you? Um, you, you out the way? Do you get no. away from the Bronx yet? No. I go still. And I still chill on the block. Uh huh. But that's because it hasn't really registered to me that I'm late yet. Right. And like, I still like, I don't like famous niggas. I can't talk to a nigga that's lit. Because it's like, I don't know, like, I'm already dealing with my shit. So like, for you to be lit too. I'm good. I like my my quiet niggas with 400 followers and <sighs> skeet up all the time. Don't post nothing. Skeet up is a type now. Just rocking the the shicey mask. Yeah. It's like a whole personality now. Yeah, I'm I just like, like niggas anonymous. in Nike tags. That's like I'm an NPC. Yeah, I'm yeah. Non playable much. character. Yeah, I, don't know I like niggas gamer. like that. Like quiet niggas. Like I don't like niggas that be all up in the mix and shit. Interesting. Yeah. So you really spend time hanging out with like popping ass rappers, and you just you can't handle sharing the energy. Um, not really. Like, I just, like, I feel like, all right, I've been around a couple really, really lit rappers in my life, and it's just like, you're a regular nigga to me, bro. Right. I don't care about none of that, bro. I like, like, I like my niggas how I like my niggas. Like, I can't do I can't really niggas. imagine being a woman and trying to date somebody who's got their head that far up their ass. <laughs> what? You know, like. <laughs> what do you mean by that, though? You know, like. I mean, I love Future. Mm -hmm. But when I imagine how Future moves through this world, I just imagine him being constantly bombarded with like compliments and fans and, and adoration. He's got so much money. I just don't imagine him really being able to like slow his life down for a woman very easily. 
Yeah, he. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I can't date somebody who's lit. Cause it's like it's already like that for me. Like, you know how many niggas a day just try to hound me. Mm. For me, even even before I was lit, for me, like all the rappers in my DMs, and then like now it's just like I don't know. I can't handle that. I'm too jealous. Like I don't like I don't like that. You don't know the trust. Um, I have a really hard time picking friends. Even now. But I feel like that's everybody, though. You live and you learn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I was cool with a a drill rapper female. and Kenzo was, B. No, I don't know her. You don't know her? Nah. Which one? I forget. Um, Rella. Oh, you were cool with her. I didn't... Yeah, I was okay. cool with her. And lie. how did that go south? Um, I have... Oh, okay. So, I seen a... A thriller and it was like oh how you jack top two were you not top five and i knew she was talking about me but i didn't address it until she made a song with kenzo and i was like if you're fucking with somebody who's smoking my dad's like i just don't fuck with you and like i said before like it's just not my my thing to be cool with some like if you're cool with somebody who's smoking my dad's you're weird too because mm-hmm. god knows what you're talking about when I'm not around. You feel me? No, for sure. I mean, I don't know how the fuck anybody could stomach that. But then Maya Kenzo dissed her with that same line because she thought it was about her. And I knew it was about me, but I didn't respond to it. And then Kenzo made it evident that she was talking about me. Like mm-hmm. on live. She was like, oh, she wasn't even talking about you. So you just dissed her for no reason. Right. So then I was just like, oh, yeah, they just talking about me. But, but So you really can't fuck with Rella at all anymore? It's over? Um, or is it a short term thing? I mean, I just got to understand the difference between business and personal relationships. That's a fact. That was that was business. For me, she's Booba's girlfriend at the end of the day. So you me, can't she, be in Booba videos anymore? I don't know. He hasn't. I mean, he hasn't hit me up about it. But personally, I haven't been. For me, I don't like doing YouTube videos. I honestly just did it for like me, me like. The attention, feel me? The fans like it. I, I can't lie. Like, the fans like it. And it's just like, it's just a whole bunch of fake shit. I don't like pretending to pranks, all this funny little extra shit. No, I don't do that, bro. Yeah, I mean, I've warned Booba, or not warned, but worried to him. This is crazy. Like, doing this much, like, gang-related YouTube content. Yeah, like, like, and you're taking gang niggas outside to do stupid shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, just from an L.A. perspective... I guess I just see the gang banging the shit as so serious. You don't fuck around. You don't disrespect it. I, I could not imagine trying to make a joke out of telling like a LA dude who's really into the shit like about like, oh, your enemy. Like, or, well, let's listen to yeah, his music. He's wilding. Yeah. He, I got he, mad love for him. Shout out to him for being able to get away with it because I could never. Word. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. He, he be wilding, but it's just it's content at the end of the day. I've, I'm glad that the niggas that he brings on his platform – understand that yeah because because if it was like some crash out they would he would bro like if it was somebody who wasn't in the right state of mind and like had no common sense they would smack the shit out of him for yeah. for playing the ops music in front of him right you feel me i think he probably asked him first and everything i don't know he's cool off camera though i yeah. can say that he don't he doesn't act like how he usually does on camera Rella, like, the interview did pretty good, but then there was a clip that got, like, many, many millions of views on Twitter that was just her saying that she is a percentage black and she does not plan on say- stopping saying the N-word anytime soon. See, but that that's the thing. Like, you can't say it like that. For me, um, I was on Cam Capone, and he asked me the same question. He was like, oh, like, are you black? I was like, yeah. Like, I didn't say yeah. I kind of laughed because I wasn't expecting that question. Uh-huh. So now everybody kind of, like... Gave me the Rella treatment. You know what I mean? But for me, it is what it is. So you're not going to stop saying it? Um, I feel like the word is very derogatory considering the fact that it came from, you feel me, slavery and stuff like that. But, like, I don't mean it like that. Mm. Like, I I use it as, like, a filler word. Yeah. A lot of people do. But, but probably the people who are mad about it know it that and they still don't fuck with people. Nah, with, yeah, you know. I mean, fuck it. I mean, but I don't use it as a 
I don't use it as like a bad way for me. I use it as a filler word or whatever. Like or like Monica, like for me. Right. But clearly, I mean, um, I get dog. Like it's I'm not black. Being light skinned, huh? I'm Brazilian and Puerto Rican, bro. Brazilian and Puerto Rican. But I'm Afro Latina. Like I'm Taino. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Fire. Um. Okay. Anything else we need to talk about? It's been a long day. <laughs> is it a long day you try Very to cut long. it short well I mean, we got 40 minutes under our belt it's pretty good unless you got something burning in your heart that you want to talk about um no nah. i feel like it was a good interview do you guys think yeah i feel like it was a good interview oh, that was nice we got compared some- to all my other ones i feel like in every like interview i have a viral moment mm. and hopefully i don't have one in this like I feel like this, but this is highly anticipated too, especially with like the fight that just recently happened. So, yeah, but I almost like obviously normally from my perspective, the viral moment would be very good for us. But also, I feel like nowadays, like when there's a viral moment, it becomes a TikTok, and it doesn't. Yeah, it, and you then, know? bro, everybody attacks me every day, bro. I'm probably like the most attacked drill rapper That's ever. Huh? That's how you feel. Yeah, bro. I be looking at my comments. It'd be like murder B is fried pickles. Like, what is you talking about, bro? Really. Yeah. What bro. does fried pickles mean in that I context? I have no idea. They probably, I feel like they're just trying to like, I, it's a trend. I've seen a couple of people saying like, we just do it because it's a trend. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I don't Like that took me a little while to realize that everybody who was commenting in academics' comments saying some shit about go eat a cheeseburger, that like, that's like his fans making fun of him, but because they like him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, like, I'm one of those drill rappers that they hate so much, but they keep up with me. Mm. Yeah. That is real. No, really, though. Murder I mean, B. We okay. love to hate her. Yeah. Anyway. I like you, though. I think you're dope. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, like, the mental image of you watching my vlogs when you were 12 is really kind of no, fucking really, me though. up. No, really, though. No, 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 no. Really, though. That, that's how it really was, though. I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, but I'm skinnier now than I've been like ever. Yeah, you yeah. So I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'll fighting give you that. the old age. Once you start to get old, all you can do is get less fat. Lena still looks amazing. She does. But yeah. she's thirty one. I'm almost forty. She still looks amazing. Yeah. Especially she's, after she's a baby. She's always looked amazing. Yeah. Get a baby. I wasn't expecting right you guys to have a kid. No cop. I don't I don't know if I was either. I was gonna, we just decided like that to. shit caught me completely off guard. I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, we got we started to live like a boring life of uh, like sitting on the couch at night and watching Netflix for a while, and then at a certain point, we kind of realized like, "Oh, we should have a kid." That, how that's has what that? We need. How has that like, uh, like not affected you? But how like do you like being a father? Oh my god, I love it. Yeah. Really? Oh, it's the best. That's fire. There's like things I can't do in my life because I can't justify taking time away from hanging out with my kid you know like i love playing poker mm-hmm. i can't really do it because it's like every day that i could go play poker i could also hang out with my kid yeah and i don't really how old's your kid two and a half almost oh my god it's been that long bro? two years four months something like that yo wow just this feeling of she's so amazing right now and if I take, you know, if I don't see her for a week, I'm going to miss out on all the cool ass shit that she's saying right mm-hmm. now because she says crazy things. I want to meet her one day. Oh, that's definitely. like my, that's that. been my dream. Yeah. To meet her. It's so funny though, because if she met you, she would just grab me and like hide and <laughs> she's like super scared of everybody until she's around him for like five minutes. I, I feel like, I don't know. I'm not like how I portray myself in my songs too. Like, I'm like, you would think like if you watch my videos and shit, you would think like that you're never going to be a mom. Or yeah. that you don't have a soft side. Or that I, yeah, exactly that. That you you put it perfect. Mm. I, I'm actually a sweetheart. Yeah, you just kind of got that maternal part of you like shoved down deep in your stomach for the time being. You're going to avoid that for as long as possible. Being a mom? Or, yeah, yeah. I don't like kids. Really? I, I feel, feel like, like my mom fucked up for 18. me though. But my mom fake fucked that up for me though because when I was younger, she used to... <laughs> <laughs> make me babysit my siblings really so like it kind of just made me experience like motherhood at a young age and it was just mm. like i can't do this shit right i can't deal with kids crying i don't know what the fuck i i can't that guy yo bro the last time bro i changed the diaper i got shit right here and i tweaked i tweaked i was tight that was the last time i ever changed the diaper 
yeah, I mean, I haven't had this much shit on my hands in like my entire life. <laughs> Granted, like now she's older. Figuratively or like literally? No, literally. Like, but <laughs> but now she's old enough that she doesn't really shit her pants that much, and she does crazy things. Like she'll like like we have her in in the diaper in the crib, and she is just fully like I have to pee pee, <laughs> and and my girl's like you have the diaper on you can just pee in there right? And she's like I have to pee pee. We got to bring her over to the toilet and <laughs> give her the full like sit on the toilet. You can go pee and then put the diaper back on. It's like. Wow. But at you least she's old enough now. to know, like, potty training. That she doesn't want to sit around with a fucking wet diaper all night. As she yeah. should. Yeah. It's just insane. It's like, oh, so you no, get that? As she should. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm not going to lie. I know a couple people whose kids just been sitting in a diaper since, like, six. No cap. And they're, like, okay with that. Like, really? Yeah. That's scary. My brother used to be scared of, like, using the bathroom. My girl started potty training her like the instant that she thought that she was ready and so we're like really lucky that she's yeah bro today i'm making breakfast but i feel like girls are easier to potty train though because i yeah because i was potty trained yeah mad young too i never thought about that i was always like very like like intelligent i could say right i'm making breakfast today and then all of a sudden she's just like poopo and i look <laughs> over and while i wasn't looking she took a full shit in her little potty Pulled her pants down, did the whole shit. As she should. I'm like, you just doing that? And like, you're not even telling me beforehand. You're just d- taking care of it all yourself. All I got to do is wipe you. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. You made your life 10 times easier at two years old. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of trippy that they get old so fast, you know? I know. Soon your, your daughter is going to be. And you can't say shit around them because they start to figure it out. <laughs> you think that you're like. My mom used to speak in Spanish. Right. So that I wouldn't understand what was going on. Mm. No cap. That sure. ass. But um, nah, yeah. I, I used to be just doing little shit. Like I learned I t- I learned how to potty train my young. No cap. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> I definitely know how to wipe my ass. That's hard. I'm <laughs> sure that the label was very happy to find that out. Hell yeah. I mean, everybody thinks I'm good for nothing. But I can wipe my ass. Yeah, I can wipe my ass. Amazing. A lot of you bitches can't do that. I gotta go to the bathroom. Murder B. Thank you so much for coming in. It was a pleasure having me. I couldn't give you the messiest interview ever because I didn't have time to go through all the messiness, but I felt like we had a good sit down. No, yeah, we definitely did. I plan to come back soon. Let's do it. Like, how about we do like a follow up in like the next six months? I love it. Yeah. Like, and I I want to like go back and like pick out the little shit like in, in detail for me. And I'm just about like, it. yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like in six months, I'm going to be a lot bigger than I am now. I hope so. I think I hope so. so too. I think Murder B got it. I think so. I'm not going to lie. Vote for Murder B. Vote Everybody Murder B. out there. Vote for Murder B. <laughs> it's Murder A. Signing off. No Jumper. <laughs> Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, etc. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. No Jumper.com if you want to support.